Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm Maxana and you are here at Fancy Bloom. So this video will not be about paper flowers as you already saw from the title, but since you enjoyed uh, my last year's video about decorating a Christmas tree, I decided to continue the tradition and share with you what I came up with this year too. So here's a short preamble to put you in the context of what's going on here. Three years ago, I sold my seven and a half foot Christmas tree and all the Christmas decorations I had. Since I live in an apartment and not in a house, I don't have a garage and a lot of storage space. Also, I make my flowers at home, so one of the bedrooms, which is my studio, is completely filled with paper, uh, flowers, other tools and materials. So I just felt that uh, my apartment was over cluttered and all this stuff was waning down on me, so I freaked out and I sold everything except of one thing, this very small, very cheap and very old Christmas tree from Walmart, which I bought, I think, 10 or 12 years ago. But last December we moved into this larger apartment, so now I have a few more closets and a little more storage space, so after a good three-year break, I decided to start my new Christmas decoration story from scratch. And the simplest solution would be to go and buy a new tree. But I'm in no rush to clutter up quickly again. By any means, I want to move slower, I want to be smarter, and I decided to try making what I already have working for me. So, my plan is this. First, I want to change all the light bulbs on my tree from multicolored to classic warm white. Then I want to heavily flock my tree using a special flock powder. I also plan to make a DIY stand and elevate my tree uh, so it will be a little bit taller. Uh, then I will add even more lights using soft twinkle garlands that I'm obsessed with. And finally I will decorate it and show you the whole process and also share where I got all my ornaments and other decor pieces. So I hope this video will be interesting and maybe inspiring for some people who, like me, live in apartments and not houses and who don't have the opportunity to store a large amount of Christmas decor or who just don't want to put up a big Christmas tree and prefer something smaller. So with all that being said, I'm super excited to start this little Christmas tree challenge and share it with you. Let's see what I got. Okay, this is how my tree looked like before when I just took it out of the box. Um, this is a 5 feet tall pre-lit tree with 150 multicolored lights, which I bought in Walmart many years ago. As you can see, this is not the best quality tree, not to say the least. And the first thing I want to do is to get rid of these multicolored lights, which are very dim and kind of weird colors. So I decided to replace them with warm white lights to get a more classic and calm look. I bought my replacement bulbs on Amazon and if you also want to change the lights on your tree, please be sure to find a tag on a lighting strand with uh, all the required information about amps and voltage to order the correct bulbs, it's important. But once you have them, it's very easy to replace. You need to pull straight two pins and go through the original base and then bend them upward and plug in back in place. It took me about two hours to replace 150 bulbs, so if you have a large tree with a lot of lights, think twice uh, if it's really worth your time doing it. And voila, now I like it much better. Okay, the next big step is flocking the tree. I do this at home, but if you have the opportunity, of course, it's better to do it outside. But uh, just make sure that you do it not on a windy day. And I can only imagine how much dirt there will be after I do this. So, of course, I need to cover my floor and my rack. And I use this special leak-proof sticky surface protection fabric called Catch. And I actually really liked it because it was very easy to use and just minimized my cleanup process. Now, before I start to flock the first section, I will meticulously fluff all the branches. 
because as you can see my tree is not very full and branchy but opposite i would say it's kind of poor with branches so i need to fluff it up as much as i can and i also really like when the branches are slightly bent down because when the tree will be fluffed it will get this very realistic look like the snow weighing down the tree's branches so i will try to give this shape to my branches as well Good, now it looks much better and it's time to get my hands dirty. So let's try to do it. I will use this product called Flock in a Box. I know that the most popular flock I heard a lot about is called Snow Flock, but it was out of stock, so I ordered this one from Amazon uh, because it also has very good reviews. And I'm actually pretty sure that all of these flock powders work in about the same way and have about the same ingredients, so I decided to try it. And now I can already say that I'm actually very pleased with the quality. It worked just perfectly for me. Uh, the adhesive mechanism is activated by water, so before application you need to spray everything with warm water and then also spray it well over so that the flock powder is in good contact with water everywhere. I personally wanted to flock my tree pretty heavily. So I did layers and I also worked in the depth of the branches and the trunk because I wanted the snow to be all over the tree, not only outside but also inside. So I rotated my tree in all the directions trying to put the flock everywhere. Of course, if you will do it on a large tree, it will be hard to flock it inside but I think it is possible if someone will help you and if you work by sections like me. And as you can see, yes, it's very messy and time-consuming, but the finished look is so worth it. Okay, the conclusion. I really like this flock. It hardens firmly and sticks to the branches very well. Of course, sometimes it will come off here and there, but honestly, I think that no more than on a regular store-bought trees. And as a bonus look, because of a lot of flock, my half-bold tree has become much more voluminous. I really like the result. The next thing I did was make a stand for my tree. I had this very old IKEA plant pot that I hadn't used in a very long time and I thought it would be perfect as a tree stand. But I wanted it to look more like a collar and not like a regular planter. So I decided to turn it upside down so that the narrow part was on top and the wider part was on the bottom. Then I cut out the bottom and carefully glued all the sticking ends with hot glue. And after that I spray painted with gold color and also covered the handle spots with a gold cardstock from the inside. I think that this cardstock just perfectly matched my color. The tree itself I installed in a smaller pot using pieces of cardboard and hot glue, but keep in mind that if your tree is heavy or you plan on using a lot of decor, then you need to use a bigger and heavier pot. You just need to make sure that you anchor the tree very well and that it's very stable. And here's the footage of what it looked like when I finally installed the tree with a stand. I think that this pot was the perfect size for my tree, so I really liked how they look together. The next step is to add more lights. And here's the thing, I really wanted to have twinkle lights. But surprisingly, I found out that it's actually quite difficult to find soft twinkle lights and not flashing and crazy blinking ones that can cause a headache or panic attack. Well, at least for me. I have searched all over the internet and the only truly twinkling lights I have found are these lights called soft twinkle. The name speaks for itself, right? They are not cheap because you get only 70 lights in one string and it costs about $30 per string. For my small 5 feet tree, I bought two of them. But if you have a bigger tree, you will obviously need a lot more. So this product is definitely not on the budget side, but I personally think that it's worth it because the twinkling is so soft and beautiful. This is exactly what I was looking for and I just love it. And I also found these beautiful fairy lights from Amazon. Look, they also twinkle very softly, just beautiful. Uh, I will add them too, but already on decorated tree later. 
Okay, now it's time to decorate and here's everything I will use for my tree. This year I wanted to use very natural colors. So here's no bright gold, for example. I picked up all the champagne shades, a little bit of copper, iced blue and frosted green. All of these colors can be found in nature and for me they are associated with a snow-covered frosted winter tree. Let me quickly tell you where I get all this from. These four large champagne balls from the Hobby Lobby and also these uh, balls, very beautiful shade of blue also from there and these blue and rose gold peaks also from Hobby Lobby. Uh, these rose gold glittered balls and champagne snowflake topper from the at home store uh, the highlight of my decor is of course these giant handmade pine cones. I have a video on my channel on how to make them step by step, so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. These berry sprays I found, you will not believe, in dollar store. I was looking for um, twigs with a lot of berries and I wanted the berries to be exactly champagne color, not gold. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So when I saw these peaks in champagne color at the dollar store, I couldn't believe it. And of course, I grabbed all of them because I want lots of berries on my tree. And the rest of the balls I bought online at Shinoda Design Center. Okay, I started by decorating the top of the tree with my snowflake. I had to cut off the entire bottom part of the topper because it was absolutely unusable for me and then I just attach it with wire to the height I needed. Then I did my only ribbon, because this time I didn't want to use any bright colored ribbons, so I picked up this rose gold glittered mesh ribbon just for adding volume and beautiful shimmer. Usually I use tree branches to attach a ribbon, but because my tree has very few branches and every branch I carefully shaped counts, I had to use wire, but in general if you have a good quality tree then it's much more convenient to secure the ribbon with tree branches. And this is how pretty it looks when I only made one roll. I agree, it adds a very beautiful shimmer to the tree. Ok, after the ribbon I did the picks. Before placing these dollar store berries I have to remove all these green leaves because they were so ugly and obviously they are cheaply made and sort of flimsy but in general these berries look very pretty and there are many of them on one branch. I mean, I think the $1 price tag is a great deal. Sometimes I split one branch into separate twigs, sometimes I used whole branches and I also like to mix different peaks, so here I mix these berries with blue peaks and I place them together throughout the tree. And finally ornaments. I start with the largest and ordinary balls and I place them very deep inside close to the trunk. This way I cover all the largest gaps and create sort of a 3D look. I know that all professional decorators use this technique to place the ornaments at different depth, not just on the surface of the tree. Like this, the tree will look more dimensional and it will be much more interesting to look at it. I hope it makes sense. After I covered all the gaps and placed the plain balls deep inside, I find the best places for my three pine cones. And then I already place all the remaining ornaments I have. And this is the finished look of the tree that I got. At the end I also added these fairy lights from Amazon, which I told you about. They were also very helpful to light up my snowflake, because there was no lighting on it. And of course they added even more magical sparkle that was the final touch. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments how big is your tree and what colors have you chosen for your tree this year. I'm super interested to know. Remember give this video a thumbs up because it means a lot to me. And if you have not already, please subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys next time. I love you. Merry Christmas and bye bye.